first time updating your BIOS. In this step by step, I'll be going over how to find, download, and install the right BIOS for your motherboard. So stay tuned. Alright, let's get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just open up uh, Google and I'm going to search the motherboard brand or maker. In my case, this is going to be MSI. And I'm going to go to MSI.com. To make it a little easier for yourself, if you were searching, um, MSI support will get you there quickest. All right, there it is. The support center, center for MSI. This would be different for uh, Gigabyte or ASRock, but I would just Google search it, and usually through their like www.msi.com slash support usually would get you there. And just go to the website and type in your motherboard. So X470. Okay, it should be under products here on motherboards. And you want to make sure that you find your exact motherboard. I have the X470 Gaming Pro, or the Gaming Plus. All right, there's the motherboard there. All right, once we get to this here page, we should just be able to go to the support tab. MSI makes this really easy. Their website's easy to get around. And then just click on the BIOS and make sure that you have the most up-to-date BIOS installed. And make sure it doesn't say uh, the beta or beta because you don't want to get one that's still being tested. And you want to click that and download it. Once this is downloaded, you're going to want to get a USB drive or a quick stick and plug it into any USB drive that you have available on your computer. Okay, once that's downloaded, you want to go to the folder where you downloaded it. And extract all. Once you extract it, you should have a file like this. And there's my USB. So what you want to do after you extract it is just copy these onto your USB drive. That's as simple as it is guys. There used to be a tool to do this for you but after that there's copy that's it. All you have to do now is restart your computer and make sure that it boots into the UEFI mode and use the M flash that's included on the motherboard and we're gonna go through this here step in just a quick moment I'm gonna close all this here down and make sure that I eject the drive okay making sure that it worked correctly that was just how I double check it now I'm gonna restart the computer guys and I'll get back with you uh, I'll have to switch cameras I'll get back with you in a moment We're just going to restart. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. All we need to do is find the M flash utility. Okay, system will auto reboot, will default settings, load it, and enter M flash. Do you want to run M flash? Yes, you have to click the yes on that one. Sorry for the quality, guys. My camera doesn't want to stay in focus on the screen. I don't have a capture card. Alright, it says select the BIOS ROM. And there's our BIOS. E7B79AMS.AG0. And we just gotta click that one. It should be the only one in there. If there's anything else in there, um, I would double check things. It should only show the one you put in there. Just go on and click it. Now this should only take a couple of minutes. Make sure you do not power off. Hit the button kick a switch or do it on a, a very stormy day where you'd have to chance power going out this will brick your board if you power off your system if you don't have a clear MOS button so make sure that you're careful with your power definitely don't push the power button or click the switch off There we go. That's how simple it was, guys. Uh, just make sure it loads back up here. Alright, that second restart's pretty normal. There we go. Done. New BIOS installed and ready to go. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a message in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.